Hey guys, in this video we'll compare the most popular film emulation methods with each other to determine the pros and cons of each. Some of the aspects of real film are impossible to emulate in post-production, so we're going to focus on how these tools affect our images compared to Rec. 709 conversions. We want to see how they affect the colors of skin, foliage, and skies. Do they make our videos more cinematic? To test this, we filmed multiple people in different locations during various lighting conditions so we can see which method is the most flexible and gives us consistent results. For this test, we used the Sony A7S 3 camera and S-Log3, which is supported by all film emulation plugins and LUTs. The clips are not color corrected, except for the contrast adjustments. Before we proceed, I want to mention our website Cinema Tools. Cinema Tools is the website where you can find LUTs and digital tools for mirrorless cameras from Nikon, Sony, and Panasonic. The goal of Cinema Tools is to improve native sensor color response by determining each camera's strengths and weaknesses. Using Cinema Tools gives good and consistent results and makes color correction much easier. Each pack contains a technical LUT, two color improvement LUTs, and a film emulation LUT for maximum flexibility. Now, let's get to the tests, and at the end of this video, we're going to give the pros and cons of each method.
DaVinci Resolve comes with pre-installed Kodak and Fuji LUTs. They're accurate representations of print film emulation LUTs. To use them properly, you need to convert your clip to Cineon Film Log and Rec. 709 Color Space, which can be done using Color Space Transform and Resolve. The pros of Resolve LUTs are, they're free, you can use them in any software, and they're an accurate representation of film print stocks. And the cons are, you need to use grain inhalation from other sources. These LUTs were made for Cineon film scans and not for digital sensors. Even when you convert camera color space to Cineon, certain colors might still look off. We experienced some banding in the blue channel using these LUTs. It might be because of the source, but it's something to keep in mind. Cinema Tools Film LUT is a part of our basic camera package and the pros are easy workflow for all NLEs as well as in-camera monitoring, made for a specific camera sensor so no additional conversions are required, and reasonably priced. Cons, it's a LUT, so you need to use third-party effects for grain inhalation emulations. It's not customizable. Film Unlimited is a DaVinci Resolve power grade created by Australian colorist Juan Malera. Juan has shared his knowledge for over a decade now, and he's known in the colorist community, so you can expect a high-quality product from him. The pros are, good-looking color, it has that familiar modern Kodak film stock look without being too strong, you can customize the look and turn off specific elements that you don't like, and added grain ventilation nodes that look much better than default Resolve presets. And the cons are, it only works in DaVinci Resolve. The node tree can be intimidating for new users and also tricky for shot matching. I'm sure that the development process of this power grade took a lot of time, but the price can be a little high for a single look. Film Convert is one of the oldest plugins for film emulation. It's available for Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut. Pros, wide amount of supported cameras, multiple film stock emulations to choose from, built-in grain emulation, easy controls and good performance, and reasonably priced for the OFX plugin. Cons, lacks 2383 print film emulation, and grain looks digital. Dehancer is a film emulation plugin available for Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut. Pros, lots of film stocks to choose from, wide camera support, the full suite has lots of different film effects such as halation, blooming, and gate weave, and grain looks very organic and allows a lot of customization. And the cons are, it requires a strong computer to get smooth playback, especially in UHD, and some film profiles look slightly overstylized for broad use. Filmbox is a film emulation plugin for DaVinci Resolve developed by Video Village. The pros are beautiful looking film emulation, built-in effects such as grain, scratches, and gate weave, best halation emulation, supports color managed and HDR workflows, and the limited light version is available for free. And the cons are, a lifetime indie license costs $995, which is not a lot for professional post-production software but might be too expensive for occasional use. And we'd like to see more different film stocks available in the future. And there you have it. We hope this video will help you to choose a film emulation method for your tastes and needs. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and subscribe for more videos in the future.